Hi, my name's Lizzie. I support the international people team for Facebook. It's great to meet you. Thank you for spending the time today with us. Um, before I get started, I thought I would introduce myself. So as you can see from the photo, I've got three children. It keeps me really busy. George, who's 10, and twins, one boy, one girl, one dragon, one phoenix, uh, who are four. And of course, a husband who always wants a mention. And uh, we live in Singapore. We've been here for 10 years. Before that, we were in Africa and the Middle East. Um, you can probably hear from my accent that I'm British, but we've lived overseas for nearly 15 years now and, and really love it. Um, and there's a reason why I'm starting with a personal introduction. And that's because Facebook was founded on the insight that people make sense of the world through people. And so being personal and bringing our full authentic selves to work is a really important part of how we work at Facebook. And so so I'm really pleased to be able to share some of the way that we think about culture, communication and using technology to build connection because that's a really important part of um, who we are and why, why I joined Facebook and every CMO, every CEO and CFO that I talk to these days, it's really their number one challenge when we're all in it together um, with COVID and so it's great to be able to share some things with you. And what do we mean by communication? Well. When we talk about talking, I'm really talking about everything uh, inside the organization, every single way that we communicate and everything that's important to us. And you can see here, I thought I'd share with you that um, Facebook, really we're, we are social by design and we use an internal tool to do a lot of our communication called Workplace. And some of you may use Facebook, some of you may be in groups on um, Facebook. Workplace is all about groups. Groups is how we get our work done. Groups is how we have fun, how we build culture, how we communicate and connect and collaborate, all of those things. Um, and these are some of my groups that I belong to and some of the fun groups that I thought I'd share with you. So we have everything here from uh, interest, so people who are passionate about making bread or people who love dogs. We have identity groups, so I belong to Women At. Facebook, for example, and we have different identity groups for the Pride community, our Black Hat community, and all sorts of other underrepresented communities across the organization. We also have groups for a location, so perhaps the office in Hong Kong or, or Taipei. Um, and then there are work groups, so I, of course, belong to the, the HR group. And really being social and allowing people to connect with each other in an organic way is a core part of who we are and, and part of our mission externally and it really plays through internally too. And these, this is one of my favorite groups that sprung up during COVID, which is our sad working from home meals because you know how much Facebookers, well you may know Facebookers uh, love to eat and we're very lucky because we often have a cafe in the office. And so we've all been making our own food dreadfully. This sprung up, uh, one employee, she put this together and now it's got thousands and thousands of uh, members across the world. So it's one of my one of my favorites and I have posted in there. Um, I thought I would share with you then if we're talking about collaboration, we're talking about groups um, and that's how we mainly communicate. I just thought I'd share with you what my desktop looks like. This is what it looks like when I open it up in the morning. You can see at the top of the page there, that's our team photograph. And then on the left, you can see um, the groups that I belong to and the uh, the information then that comes in. I click on those groups first thing in the morning and, and look at the messages that have come in. Um, I might be posting myself. There might be a video to watch, a file to download. And that's really how we think about communication. It's very immersive. It's very one to many. We don't tend to follow a top down cascade. And I think it really suits our culture. I appreciate that everyone's culture is different, but what um, I love is the, the vibrancy of opening this up in the morning and seeing what matters to people and, and what people care about. So we're gonna walk through our five values. We thought that would be a great way to really to explain the culture and the communication practices within our culture. So our first value is all around making sure that we're building social value in the world. We weren't founded as a company. And so it's really important that our employee base reflects really the range of experience, race, age, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, and all the other characteristics that are out there in the world with our user base. And we want to create a company where every single person brings a cognitive diversity that really impacts the mission in a positive way. And so there's an enormous amount we do in the diversity and inclusion space. 
we have three core programs for every employee and we ask that every manager take them because we think it's really important for people managers to lead by example um, and it's a, a, a really an important part of how we think about inclusion we think it's everyone's ability it's not just the people teams it's for it's for all of us um, if we we're going to build a really vibrant workforce and uh, and a workforce that really represents the communities that we're trying to we're trying to serve um, so that's our first way that we think about communication which is around building social value together our next value um, which is one of my favorite ones in, in Facebook which is around moving fast and I used to think I was fast until I um, joined Facebook and I was like okay I need to I need to get faster um, so this is a core part of how we think about things we think that done is better than perfect we like to ship product um, to our people as, as, as quickly as possible um, and m move fast you'll see posters all over all over Facebook with um, with that ability uh, listed out in it during COVID we moved very quickly to um, shut down our offices to move people to home to give people home support to come up with a leave program dedicated to the specific needs we were seeing with covid which was people balancing their their domestic responsibilities and their caregiving responsibilities in a way that was that was new um, and so this plays through when we think about the way that we engage as i say done is better than perfect is something that you'll hear a lot of um, in facebook and we we really appreciate speed um, the next value is around being bold and um, Cheryl Sandberg, who's our COO, you will often hear her saying, what would you do if you weren't afraid? And be, bringing creativity, bringing courage, taking risks are a really important part of the way that we build value. Um, Mark is transparent about um, where we've got things right, where we've got things wrong in order to create a learning culture and to normalise smart risk taking. Um, and that's a really important part of how we use technology to communicate because we give everyone the power to, to, to do that, to communicate across the organisation, to post what they want to post, um, to connect with other people. Um, I don't need to go and ask my manager for approval to go and connect with another team on a, on a piece of work. Um, and so this courage is really at the heart of, of our culture and, and how we think about the opportunities that are, are in front of us. And learning um, is absolutely at the core of all we do. We, uh, we run employee engagement surveys twice a year to see how our employees are feeling, um, to look at where we need to lean in and do better, to look at what's working and what we need to protect. And we also have a mini survey called MicroPulse, which is something that just comes onto your phone, three questions you can take really easily that gives us more of an immediate sense of uh, what matters to people and, and, and where people are at. And so that, that learning mindset and that courage is super important. Be open is our fourth value. This was really new to me when I when I joined, um, and I found it um, thrilling, shocking, surprising, all, all of those things. Just about how open we are, and and how much we value sharing as much information as possible about the company, so that our employees can make the best decisions for the product that they're designing, and also have the greatest impact. Um, we encourage everybody to share their views. Um, internally and, and to have really good dialogue um, both ways. Every week Mark hosts a Q&A, a question and answer session, typically on a Thursday or, or, or Friday and thousands of people phone in and take part from all across the world and there isn't a question that Mark won't answer and so we have our founder and chief executive standing up in front of the whole organisation talking about what's on his mind, what have we learned and answering questions that are important to our people um, every single week and of course the video streaming technology and voting technology allows us to do that but the connection is very personal and um, because he he speaks live and it's a really important part of building our, our open culture and our last value is around focusing on impact um, and we want people at facebook to be 
really good at finding the biggest problems um, to work on. Our challenge is we have super talented people um, who, who really want to get involved in lots of things. So you'll often hear us talking about ruthless prioritization and focusing really only on what's going to have the biggest impact to, to our users and, and what matters most to them. Um, we ask two questions when we look at people's performance. Um, what impact did the person have during the half that we're looking at? And what impact can they have in the next half? So how are we learning um, forward? And we encourage uh, really a learning culture around impact and we'll often do a debrief on a project. Um, we will talk about the fix of the week every week. So Mark will stand up at the Q&A and talk about what was improved, what was fixed, um, what did the engineers perhaps uh, work on or, or another team work on that um, you know that has led to a great improvement um, for, for for our users we'll even talk about this is what I think is interesting so we'll talk about non goals so you remember I said the team is very passionate one of our challenges is that they'll want to work on everything so leaders can often set non goals which is a documented ask to not focus on X um, this was new to me, I'd not come across this before, but actually it's really important because um, as a company we, we're fizzing with ideas and our people want to work on lots of different things and so focusing on what really matters is really important, a really important skill. Um, and then last but by no means least, um, I wanted just to share a personal reflection on communication and the different clients and organizations I've spoken to and also I'm talking to people inside Facebook about the sort of communication um, that people are looking for during COVID. The feedback that I've picked up from across Asia and really across the world, irrespective of sector um, or, or role and stage of evolution of an organization is that where people were looking to their leadership team for inspiration back in January um, to, to sort of you know paint the future picture and lead them there. What they're really looking for now is empathy and looking for a leader to come down from the stage where they've been inspiring them and stand next to them, um, understanding what's happening in their life, understanding their caregiving responsibilities, understanding the stresses they're under. Um, you know, you can see I'm phoning uh, you guys here from my uh, from my guest bedroom. You know, we're in people's houses right now, and I think that requires a degree of empathy and a degree of sensitivity and appreciation that the work home boundaries have really, really been blurred. And so I think that's a really interesting development in the communication space, that it, it real pivot from inspiration um, to empathy as an employee need. And that's something that I'd love to hear your feedback and, and questions on and also to learn more um, from, from you too. So I really appreciate the time. Thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing the other sessions um, and connecting with you later. Thank you.